elections is due in November 2016 and you wonder what effects that has on our businesses. Well, on today's Business on Tech TV, the government is expected to give an additional 400 million Ghana cities to the Electoral Commission ahead of the November 2016 polls. Indum has advised Kenyans living abroad to take advantage of business opportunities back home in Ghana. An economist has cautioned government to get the country's macroeconomic fundamentals in check and pressure has eased on UK's financial markets after two days of turmoil in the wake of Brexit vote. Details of these stories coming your way shortly. The government is expected to provide an additional 400 million Ghana cities to the Electoral Commission ahead of the 2016 vote. Deputy Finance Minister Kassel Atuforsen disclosed that government was unable to give the 1.2 billion Ghana cities requested by the Commission for the organization of this year's election, resulting in the challenge. The Deputy Finance Minister disclosed this on Monday, June 27, 2016, when he appeared before the Parliament's Public Accounts Committee to answer some questions concerning the Ministry. The government is feverishly working at raising some additional 400 million Ghana cities to enable the Commission to undertake its duties without difficulty, Mr. Forsen said. And President and Chairman of the multinational company Group Indum, Dr. Papakwesi Indum, has advised Ghanaians living abroad to take advantage of business opportunities back home in Ghana. According to him, it would be gainful for prospective investors abroad to be patient in their pursuit of seeking business opportunities in Ghana. Dr. Indum was addressing a town hall meeting organized jointly by the Ghana National Council of Chicago and the Ghanaian professionals of North America. And economist Dr. Eric Oseyasibe has cautioned the government to get the country's macroeconomic fundamentals in check before it hits the emerging markets for a $750 billion bond at favorable yield. The finance minister, Mr. Setekbe, has indicated that Ghana was considering emerging markets to raise the next euro bond due to shock waves that has followed Britain's exit from the European Union. Mr. Tekpe was optimistic that Ghana could raise its next bond from the emerging markets such as Brazil, China and India at good rates considering the flow of capital investment into such economies in recent times. And to the international news, pressure has eased on UK's financial markets after two days of turmoil in the wake of Brexit votes. In the late morning trading, the index was up 2.4%, while the FTSE 250 had gained 2.9%. The pound also showed signs of recovery, rising 0.8% against the dollar. The pound has risen as high as $1.50 shortly before the result of the votes became clear on Friday morning. And German carmaker Volkswagen has reportedly reached a $15 billion settlement with U.S. car owners after admitting it cheated in the emissions test. The deal would offer to repair or buy back the affected vehicles and pay owners compensation. According to sources close to the talk, the German giant subsequently said 11 million vehicles have been affected worldwide. And that's it for today's business on Tech TV. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Tech TV GH. My name remains Wafa Kakubwafo. Thanks for watching.